this is probably goes back to the digital twin aspect mm. um, and how these digital twins uh, collaborate with one mm. another and the data and information. Mm. Sounds like a huge data privacy challenge. Um, so the distributed, yes, this, yeah, this the, this uh, this aggregated this aggregated yes. computing, right? Um, and the focus on doing good for society. Mm. I mean, we can't even have a uh, data privacy law, national law in the United States. Luckily, Europe is trying to uh, help, you know, mm -hmm. but how do you do this in the digital twin world? So the, the, the reality is the more power you have in the computing, the more you're able to protect privacy. That, the issue is not the technology. The issue is the regulations and the, and the, the what, what is allowed. <laughs> so government. The governments and <laughs> companies, right, who yeah. we know have not used it properly. But if you think about it, one of the reasons we can't do extreme privacy is because it's going to add a huge layer of overhead to the computing, okay. whether we encrypt and decrypt and use, use uh, cryptography and all of those things. So one of the solutions to extreme privacy is... High speed, low latency. Speed, low latency, <laughs> low power. Yeah. Right, low oh, power, okay, right? Okay. So you can start to use that to solve the problem of privacy. Solving the, the, the regulation problem is another one. So, um, yeah, that's a different challenge. So actually, by doing ION, you can help improve regulation and privacy, and in that way, actually help society. We give the tools. Uh -huh. we, we, we give them all the capabilities, 